goes to a producer and vice versa. Uh, that's getting the drum sharper, is it? Yeah. That was the producer, and for the purposes of this film, we'll take it that the musicians have already done their job, recording their tracks, bass, drums, guitars, vocals, on a two-inch wide magnetic tape, which records up to 24 simultaneous tracks. Now it's time for doing the mixing. What instrument on what track is first inscribed on the desk, and then it's time to start listening, beginning always with the drum tracks first. Drum ambience, well sort of stereo picture of the drum kit there. Wayne's guitar. Is that the synth? That's the synth. Yeah, interesting little bit of texture. The next bit is called getting the EQ right. That's a synthetic bass drum. Um, in time, it doesn't sound particularly wonderful. So how do you make it sound wonderful? With, with this four-band EQ here, yeah. free, free with the desk. Get a little bit of weight. Get a little bit of slap at the top. Now it hisses, so we've got to gate it. What's a gate? A gate is, you know, as its name implies, something that opens and closes. Ask a silly question. Anyway, EQ lets you play with the different parts of one sound. It's got a lot more control than you would have got 15 years ago. It's got two completely parametric mid-ranges. You can either affect... What's a parametric mid-range when it's, when it's at home for the weekend? Well, this small knob here, right, is bandwidth, which means you can either isolate a small section of frequencies and boost them or cut them or you can turn it clockwise and it, it'll have a broad effect and this this one is high mids really but this this only affects overtones on instruments there aren't any fundamentals there confused you will be when you get to the imaginary room well this this synthesizer here vague wall of sound. It needs to be uh, spread out a bit, so just a bit of echo place on it. The echo place, the big things downstairs in the cellar. In the wooden boxes, yeah. And this connects into them? Yeah. This controls them. Controls the sort of overall length and the reverberation and its overall tone colour and its all level. For many producers, the drums are the most important tracks. For Hannett, it's the snare drum. If you're watching a finished track on PPMs, then every time... What are PPMs? Those oh, things. Yeah, things are there, yeah. You always see the snare. But I mean, it's the essence of rock and roll, isn't it? You know, some... What, the snare drum? Yeah. Why is it the essence of rock and roll? Playing, playing the offbeats with a good deal of vigour. <laughs> Snare's OK, now the serious bit. The use of exotic electronics to create for the ear an imaginary room. Well, it's taking all the, taking all the clues off, off the snare sound that the ear needs to uh, recognise a room. So we've got to put them back. Otherwise it'll sound odd. What, so using echoes and delays and reverberations, you make up a pretend room for the ear? Yeah. The value you can see there, I don't know whether you can see it, represents first reflection at a boundary of a room. So by selecting different values, I can effectively change the size of the room. This top item forms the same function as this bottom item in a different way, uh, with the result that it's got a different set of properties. For instance, I can establish a room sound with the bottom one. I can also do it with the top one, but then if I do that, I've got the effects of the walls of the room rushing in and out at a fantastic raise. 
Well, uh... Of course, you don't want to hear all that, so we... Bury it. And when the 24 track is as it is wanted, it is put on a stereo tape and there's your finished record. Is, there an, is, 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 this, is this an art form or are you just a technician? <laughs> Come on, serious question. Is this an art form or are you just a technician? Is this a television broadcast? Yes. Mm. Uh, I, I don't know. Of course it's an, an art form, yeah. But, I mean, it's also mm. something else. It's their living. <laughs> Credits there, studios Strawberry Stockport, engineer Christopher Nagel, and the song was in fact by Pauline.